Released in 1991, developed by Human Entertainment and published by HAL, you play the role of the binary hero called Kabuki. Here's a neat twist. His standard attack uses his hair. Weird, but totally unique. Kabuki Corn Fighter has got to be one of the most insane concepts for a video game. I mean, okay, you've got a Kabuki dancer uh, inside this computer program and try to be able to feel these viruses, and you utilize chips to activate your special weapons. That's pretty zany, but you know what? For me, at least, it works. It's just... Really cool. As you can see, this is a standard platforming game, but wasn't so standard as the story. He plays Colonel Scott O'Connor, who has volunteered to transfer his brain into the country's main defense computer. The virus has surfaced, causing all sorts of troubles, so you need to fix the problem ASAP. Transferring himself into the program, the computer recognizes your past ancestry, noting that your grandfather was a kabuki dancer. Like Mega Man, you receive upgrades to your weapons when you defeat bosses. Using your special weapons will deplete your chip mirror, that blue bar at the bottom there. You can refill your chip gauge by collecting chips from defeated enemies. The weapons range from fireballs to quantum bombs to even a fusion gun, and they're all pretty cool. Aside from all your other special attacks that uses chips, you have a couple of basic attacks. You've got, of course, uh, the trademark uh, hair throw ability, I guess, that has some pretty decent range. You have a uh, crouching punch that is pretty weak and it's not very useful. And you also have a kick that you can do off of uh, bars. When he hangs off those bars, you can do a kick, which is really, really cool, actually. In Kabuki, you'll test your metal, or binary, really, in six rounds. You play through roughly one or two different areas before facing off against that round's boss. And the game starts proving pretty difficult after about, I'll say, round three or so. Due in fact that many of the platforming bits are tricky to navigate. Patience, young Kabuki. Patience. The graphics are sharp, you get some detailed cutscenes a la Ninja Gaiden, which is always a bonus in my book. And there's plenty of enemy variety. The music is also pretty damn sweet, too. So guys, I'm nearing the 150 sub mark, and my original goal in doing the show was to hit 200 subs, and I'm almost there, and uh, I need you guys to keep supporting me, commenting below on my videos, and uh, the thumbs up and everything, and uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's make it to 200, eh? Well, there you have it, that wraps uh, things up for another episode, and Kabuki Quantum Fighter, really an under, underrated, underappreciated game, in my opinion, at least really solid you know action platformer and if you haven't played it you should really give it a chance because it's really unique i mean use your hair as your main weapon that's pretty damn unique right then and there so you should pick yourself up a copy because it's just freaking awesome so i'm well max impact 24 until we meet again